All right, so in this session, we'll be looking at how to um, compute um, jackknife estimate of bias and standard error using the R software, right? So as we did in bootstrapping, the law school data set in the bootstrap package will be used to compute estimate of the bias and standard error of the correlation statistics. So let's jump into R. So here we are in R. First of all, you have to install the bootstrap package right already have this installed so I don't need it then you have to load the package so let's load this sorry control Z we have to load this um, package right so let's load it I'm going to run to load the package so let's look at the structure structure of data set so str law let's um, run this so I'm miss we're still running So basically, we have 15 observations with two variables. So we can then define our variables. Define our variables. So I'm going to name LSAT for the first variable in the law data set. Law LSAT. Then GPA for the second variable in the law data set, GPA. So let's run these two. Right, let's run this. Now we can compute um, the estimates from the observed sample. So we are looking at correlation. Correlation estimate from the observed sample. So I'm going to name this theta dot hat. Um, correlation between LSAT and GPA and theta dot heart right so um, we are going to run this right so let's run oh T right yep so let's run I'm going to run this. Okay, so the correlation is given to be um, approximately 78%, right? Okay, so from here we can look at um, the, we can now set up the CD code for the jackknife. CD code for jackknife. Right. So with Jackknife, we need an um, n replications, right? Which is basically going to be the sample size. So n is n row to get my sample size from the raw data. So sample size. If you have a fixed sample size, you can just um, replace it. Maybe you you have ten, you can just put fifteen or ten instead of using um, instead of using n row you can just um, use a specific f um, sample size if that's what you want to do so I can use n row to get my sample size right okay now what do we need again I think we need an empty container to um, store this um, estimate from the jackknife right so let's call this estimate val and then I'm going to have numeric and so empty vector to store the jackknife 
estimates right so we are good to go now we can use the for loop to get our work done for index i in um one to n right for index i in one to n um we need to store the correlation in this empty vector that we have created so we have correlation for lsat sample from lsat and leave the ith observation out so that's basically what's um defining um sorry that's basically what i'm defining okay okay let's move on so gpa leave the ith observations out so this basically defines the estimate the leave one out sample so correlation correlation estimate for the leave one out sample so this basically defining that so let's run um let's run this i want to run this right so i'm gonna run now what we need we need a mean mean of the jackknife estimates how do we get that let's call it mean dot jack mean dot jack so that's going to be the mean of our estimated values right so mean dot jack so let's run this um Let's I wanna run this. So we run. Um also approximately equal to the estimate from the observed sample. Right. So let's compare the two C bind, column bind of the mean dot jack and the estimate from the observed sample. So um theta dot heart. Alright, so let's run this. So you can see that um, the mean estimate from the jackknife as compared to the estimate from the observed sample, they are approximately the same 78%, 78%, right? Approximately the same. Correlations are approximately the same, right? So that's the mean estimate the mean of the jackknife estimate now let's look at how to compete for the bias so bias um jackknife estimate of bias how do we get it um from our previous session we learned that um to get the bias i'm naming it bias the jack to get a bias is basically going to be n minus one multiply by the mean of the jackknife estimate minus the um, estimate from the observed sample so theta dot hat right um so let's look at the bias dot jack so let's run this So that's the bias shown, which is um, approximately equal to zero, right? Very, very low. So as we um, interpreted for the bootstrapping, you can see that um, since the bias is very low, so it means that um, the information from our sample is quite good to, to be tested at the population level, right? Or in other words, if you have to compare 
compute for the correlation for all the law school students. If you have to compare or compute the correlation for all the law school students, the correlation that is going to come out or the parameter, the value, the result that you're going to get will not be different from the estimate that we have obtained from our sample, right? they will be approximately going to be the same the, the difference wouldn't be all that much so let's move on to how to compute the jackknife estimates of standard error how do we do this so I'm going to name this SD dot jack so I have, and it's giving us square root. If you have not to watch um, the theoretical spread of jackknife, you can go watch. I think we demonstrated the algorithm how to obtain the standard error of the jackknife estimate, and it's giving us um, n minus one divided by n, right? So n minus 1 divided by n then we multiply this by the sum of the square deviations right sum of the square deviation of the estimate um, from the jackknife estimate dot power minus the mean of the jackknife estimates right so I think let me open it so you can see So um, SD dot jack to get our results. So wanna run this? Right, wanna run this? So let's run. So it's approximately 14%, right? The distance between our estimate and the true value of the parameter or the estimated parameter is approximately um, the distance is just 14 percent right not too much wide so this basically how to um, compute um, the jackknife estimate of bias and standard error in R thank you for watching